Okay, this is the fourth uh, repair day that we'd be working on it. And this is about 20 days after the last repair. If you remember, we did the rocks around here and the tar around the roof edge. And i um, kind of looking at it here. And I don't think I liked a couple of these areas that, um, you know, this here doesn't look too bad, whatever I'd be looking at. But this one here does see where there's a little gap here so I'm probably going to put a little more tar here and uh, probably up here so if there are two different spots hard to tell by the pictures but obviously these were areas I was concerned with I wanted it to uh, uh, blend in a little uh, better so I'm just going to add some more tar there and some rocks and uh, go around the vent here one more time this could have been where it was leaking from also so remember this is the area where i thought is uh you know kind of had the biggest gap in it you know if there was a gap or a crack around here i never found it so adding some more tar in this area and of course i will start spreading out a little more of the tar to um, finish this area so my plan is to kind of do this area here you know and get some rocks kind of just use up what i got left of this and then i'll have everything on uh, record here with pictures so if i need to go back and remove some of the rock to put some more of this on if there's an area that uh, is a concern or an area i think it might be leaking i'm simply going to uh, sweep up the rock, vacuum it up, um, get the pressure washer, wash the area, and then just uh, put some more tar on and then spread the rock out again. So it'd be nice to have some clean rock though, of course. So just kind of working in an area there. Now you don't want to get, so if I just did this whole area here, um, I would have to spread the rock out and walk over it. So I'm going to kind of do a section at a time and uh, spread the rock out so that I don't have to step over this area. If I did step on this rock, you know that it's going to ooze up the tar and I'm going to have tar all over my feet. So kind of working in an area here that's more manageable for me to spread the rock. And uh, um, so hope that makes sense. You know, you can see where I can still reach these areas here. So there's the area. Um, covered now I do have some videos I will um, again you can go back to the in the video description box on YouTube I'm going to have a link that will take you to the website and on that link you'll be able to uh, find all the videos for this project because I do have some video footage not just slideshow footage of this area here showing you how I spread the tar around and I believe even for some of this area over here but you can see I'm just kind of spreading the tar around throwing the rock on there and uh, this area down here is done and uh, gonna have to get a little more rock on here of course and I'm just kind of using the little brush there and I'm gonna go as far as I can till, till I'm out of the tar and that looks like I'm done for the day with the tar. So I did this area here. I always come back and do this area later. But with, once all this is dry, let's say I come back here next year. You know, I'm going to be able to clean this off. Any of the dirt that comes off of here and then runs down the roof, I'm not going to be worried about. But I can't clean this off and then have the tar or have all the dirt come into where the tar is. You know, this brings me back to the problem I had over here, which I mentioned, I believe, in the third repair video. So I haven't um, sprinkled all of the rock around here yet. I will do that um, probably an, in another week. I'll come back and finish this area off. Okay, this is the fifth uh, day of repair and another 20 days after I did the previous repair. And we're heading into early September here. And I'm just simply going to use up the rest of the tar. And I wanted to make sure that I didn't need it over here in these areas. That's why I saved a little bit of it. And uh, just kind of spread it around. And then I will start sp uh, spreading the rocks 
that I have um, moved over here. So, uh, you know, you can see here where this area here needs to uh, get the rocks back in it. It's uh, kind of swept it away from here. And once I get the rocks back in, you're going to be kind of surprised at uh, how nice it looks. Um, so there I am kind of uh, shoveling the rocks. You know, I, I swept it away. You can see a little pile here, a little pile here, just kind of spreading it back around. But there it is. That's what it looks like after it's done. So it uh, looks pretty good. You can see that there are some different rocks over here, but all I would need to do is uh, get another bag of these rocks and kind of throw it on top of this and nobody would ever know the difference. So that is it for this um, repair and uh, just something I did on my house that I thought I would share with anyone who wanted to watch it, especially like I said in the beginning, anyone who is going to be working on some type of a home with a rock roof or some type of built-up roofing, this might uh, actually uh, benefit them the most.